21 Army soldiers committed suicide last year. The numbers were gathered by the Army Psychiatry Consultant, who confirms 89 suicides, 32 are suspected and still being investigated. If all are confirmed, it would be more than double the suicides reported in 2001, before the September 11th attacks prompted the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. Since then, the armed forces have been stressed by a longer-than-expected war in Iraq and the most deadly year yet in the Afghanistan conflict. Good morning, bloggers. Today's Thursday. I said it's good news in the morning. Suicide. Um, you'll notice today I have a little something on my chin since I cut myself shaving and I'm trying to recover before the embarrassment of the young people is upon me. Um, I'm terribly sick with this sort of cold um, something. I don't believe it is Bacterial, just some kind of virus, you know, a bit of a cold. And I'm just exhausted, you know? And also, um, I don't know, I've been taking NyQuil, <laughs> so I've been a bit loopy, really. Um, but, I mean, it, it helps me to pass the hours. So I was able to grade um, the final exams that I gave. Uh, yesterday. Those are done. And I just couldn't bring myself to do essays last night. So now I have probably 60 essays that are old. And then I'll be getting 30 new ones today and 30 more tomorrow. So I've got to get those done today. I think I'm not going to leave school until I have them done. Whereas yesterday, I mean, I left the second that I could walk out the door. Um, I just had some things to photocopy, etc., and once that was done, I was out because I had to get this stuff done. I hate you. I hate all of you. Of course, not you, but the people driving in front of me are so awful. When the bus stops, you go around the bus because the bus is going to be there for a while, you idiot. Um. In any case, um, so yeah, so yesterday, I think I got home at like 1 o'clock. And, yeah, a little after one, maybe one fifteen. And I think I ate something, and I went to sleep. And slept until 4.30-ish, 4-ish, 4 o'clock, I guess. I woke up, because then they were getting ready to have the debate amongst the uh, Republican candidates for president, who are just so bizarre. I mean, aside from the Mormon, but still arguably the Mormon. I mean, they call themselves Christians. And yet, their whole party is based on values that are not Christian in nature at all. They, like, laughed and joked at the idea that um, businesses making profits at the expense of others was, haha, a good thing. I mean, who's saying that's a bad thing? I mean, why is making a profit bad? I wanted to hit them. Then they talked about um, they talked about how one of the tenets of the Republican Party is not just about lower taxes and smaller government, blah blah blah, but also about personal responsibility and that it's not the government's job to take care of people. Only in America, only here, are people so backwards. Of course it's the government's job to take care of the people. That's what they do. We're not living with the fucking king. It makes me so upset. Anyway, yesterday I was having this sort of crazy thought about how, I mean, I have been, like, always in my life, the thing I was the best at, really, has been mathematics. And that if I got a job doing something involving mathematics, I could be making so much more money. Now, the problem is, whatever it was, I would hate it. Probably. Maybe not. I mean, maybe I'd get lucky and be working in an office that I would love. But generally speaking, I mean, I was always good at math, but I didn't like it. But it occurred to me that that would really just solve all of my problems. If just for a short term, like I could set in my mind, like five years or something, I'm going to go and do this. It would be so worth it. So I'm going to investigate that. What sort of employment opportunities are there? Certainly with this economy going to shit, it would be difficult, but nonetheless. It occurs to me it's something I should do. 
just in the short term. Then if I decided, oh, I didn't put honey in the tea. Oh, it's bitter. <laughs> it's lemon tea made from fresh lemons, and it's shocking. Anyway, but that's the thought I had, though, was, you know, what kind of jobs could I get? What training would I need? What, um, and, and what can I do about that in the next uh, year and a half? I mean, if you're going to be in New York, you may as well do the New York thing, right? Make a lot of money. So it occurred to me that that would be something more, at least worth investigating, you know? So that's it. I'm done. Um, off to school again, a short day. I have a final... We have um, a visitor coming to the musical theater final. Uh, and that should be interesting. Some of the kids are going to be watching movie newsies, and that's it, because they just can't control themselves. And uh, that's what we're doing. Why? Why is this every day? Every day I have this insanity. I'm going to be late again. All right, goodbye.